ever wanted to experience heaven on earth? Well, this might be the closest thing we have to it. Welcome to the Philippines. Me and four of my friends decided to try and see as much of this country as we could in the very short five-day window we had. This place had always been far up on my bucket list, so when I was given the opportunity to go here, I made sure to jump on it. Our journey started on the north part of the Palawan Island in the small coastal town of El Nido. It's our first official morning here in El Nido, Philippines. Right now, just having some good breakfast with the boys right now, enjoying some views. And a little later, we're gonna head out into all these crazy looking mountain island type things, do a little snorkeling and kind of just take like a little boat tour. There's some crazy looking lagoons and hidden beaches and all this stuff. So I'm excited to get out there. All right, made it on the boat. Let's get going. Our first stop landed us in this beautiful small beach at the bottom of these massive rock formations. We took the time to explore the area, play a little volleyball, and may or may not have made a quick pit stop at the bar. This place is like straight out of a dream. It doesn't even feel real. The next stop wasn't exactly accessible by foot, so we decided to go another route. All right, y'all, we officially made it into a kayak. Unfortunately, you can't swim in this area, so we gotta go to kayaks, but not complaining. This is called the Big Lagoon, and you basically go around these little mountains, and it opens up into this crazy looking thing, so we're gonna go explore it. Y'all, this is absolutely beautiful. The water is crystal clear. Feels like we're in like Avatar or something. <laughs> Mind blown. It's insane how peaceful this place is. This kayaking, beautiful water. We've actually seen a few little fish. There's some like crazy looking caves and rock features. This place is so photogenic. It's, it's unbelievable. Unfortunately, as beautiful as this place is, I started to pick up on the fact that it was getting flooded by tourists from all different tours. However, the contrast to that is that if you don't book a tour to these places, it can be really, really difficult to access them. All right, we've officially made it back on the boat. We still got three more stops to hit up. All these kind of islands and stuff, and we're actually about to have like burgers and chicken soon, so really hyped for that, but this place was unbelievable. Much more than I could imagine getting to kayak through the crystal clear water of this lagoon. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Our third stop was located on another island where we were served with a beautiful buffet style lunch. All of this food and the entire day tour was only $25, which in the US would have easily costed hundreds. At the last two stops, we hit up some really cool snorkel destinations where we saw countless colorful fish and sea turtles and so much more. Later that night, we spent some time exploring the town and getting to know the area a bit better. My friend Quinn and I even stumbled upon probably one of the prettiest beaches we had ever seen, and to our luck, we had the entire place to ourselves. Man, just kept walking through that little town and we made it to probably the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. 
one of the best things about this water is it's probably like the warmest ocean water I've ever felt. It's like actually straight bath water. After spending nearly two days in El Nido, it was time to continue our journey elsewhere in the Philippines. Although it may not have been all that big, there was just something about El Nido that gave off this contagious positivity. I think we all kind of felt that in our time here. And not to mention the incredible scenery surrounding the place. From the locals, to the tiny street markets, to even the beach hostels, there was just this warm and welcoming energy of the town that made us wish we had stayed even longer. But now it was time to take a five hour van ride through the middle of the night to make it to our next destination of Puerto Princesa. All right, y'all, we've made it to the second location. So we are now at the underground river. So this is uh, near kind of Puerto Princesa, another place on the island of Palawan. It's basically this underground cave that goes for like almost three kilometers, I believe. And we're gonna take a boat, like I think a little more than halfway. It's supposed to be 45 minutes under a cave. We were in a van for about an hour outside of Puerto Princesa just to get up here. But we passed this massive parade of like tons of little kids from all different schools. So that was really cool to see a different part of the culture. So I thought that was really special. They all seemed to be happy and stuff, but yeah. So we're about to head on one of these boats and I believe it's a 20 minute ride just to get out to the underground river. And then we're gonna hop on a little smaller rowing boat and we're gonna sail through it. All right, we made it off the first boat. As you can see, we're at the place where we start to head to the underground river. So I believe we're hopping on a second boat and gonna head under there. Looks like we're coming up on the river now. Apparently these hard hats are for, so the bats don't poop on your head. Not even joking. As we waited for the boat driver, we came across a group of a bunch of monkeys just chilling by the river. This is just one of the many reasons why I absolutely love the Philippines. You never really know what you're gonna run into. Once we boarded the boat, we started heading deeper into the cave, and before we knew it, we were in complete darkness. We had heard on the audio recording that the river was actually over eight kilometers in total length, but only about three kilometers were accessible by boat. And over the hundreds of thousands of years, starting from just a little bit of dripping water, this cave was completely carved out, leaving behind these beautiful stalagmite and stalactite formations, some of which even resemble celebrities or animals that our driver had pointed out to us. We had even saw thousands of bats just flying throughout the cave or hanging from the walls in the boat ride through. Once we made it out of the cave, we were taken to another buffet lunch before eventually heading to do some, we'll call it faster paced activity. All right, so I'm about to go ride a bike in the air. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> After our time in Puerto Princesa, we hopped on a quick one-hour flight to explore another part of the country, the island of Cebu. 
Our next adventure started bright and early at the crack of dawn in a small village in South Cebu called Mwobo. This place is very famous for its marine life, specifically the whale sharks and the sardines. Let's go. After getting out of the ocean, we were taken to one of the most famous waterfalls in the area, and the water may have just been a tad bit colder than the ocean. Finally got changed up and showered and all that. Uh, definitely much needed. But it was overall a really good day. We got to swim with different turtles and whale sharks and all sorts of like massive groups of sardines. It was really cool. Got some awesome shots of that. I was not expecting those sharks to be that big, but some of them got up to like 30 feet or something. And I think the biggest got up to like 60 or 70, which is mind blowing. This is unfortunately our final night here in the Philippines. So we're about to head out into the city and have a nice dinner for sunset. <sighs> kind of sad we're leaving, but we're gonna end it right. Oftentimes I find that my favorite travel memories come from simple experiences like this. Just driving through the countryside, waving hi to the locals. I found that the hospitality in the Philippines is just about the best you'll ever see. Some people come from absolutely nothing, yet the smiles on their faces say otherwise. From the tropical landscapes, to the remote villages, to the incredible wildlife, the Philippines is without a doubt my new favorite country and not to mention it's dirt cheap to travel here. Although our journey was rather short, I know for certain that I'll be back here very soon. Until the next adventure, thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you soon.